I want to go over how to use a strobe light or a stroboscope to check the running speed of a machine. The benefit of a strobe light as opposed to a laser tachometer is you don't necessarily have to have a piece of reflective tape, but one thing you do need to be mindful of is are you looking at running speed or two times running speed or four times running speed or so on. So let's go through those quickly. So we'll turn the stroboscope or strobe light on and it's set now at 1,583 cycles per minute. I can use the up or down arrows to increase or decrease the speed until I lock in the rotational speed of the machine. I also have a 2x multiplier to double the speed and a 2x divider to half the speed. Now this machine's on a VFD, a variable frequency drive. I've got it set for 54 hertz. So I don't know exactly what speed it's going to be, but it's going to be somewhere less than the nameplate data on the motor, which is 1760. So let's start it up. We'll use a strobe light to lock in the speed. As it's getting up to speed, I'll turn my strobe light on. And I guessed on about 1570, and it's pretty close. So what I'm going to look for is I want to stop that movement. Now, again, it's not real movement. It's because of the flash rate of this strobe light. So if I slow it down a little bit, I'll see it get faster. So I know I need to speed it up just a little bit. So now I'm going to sneak up on that running speed until I lock that keyway in place. So now when it flashes, it looks as though the shaft is still, or almost still, and that is 1,617 RPM. Now, how do you know if it's running speed or two times running speed or four times or so on? If I double the speed, I can look now, and if you look carefully, it looks like this shaft has two keyways. If I double it again, it looks like it has four keyways. So find a reference mark, whether it be a piece of reflective tape or the shaft itself, or a keyway, some reference that there's only one of per rotation. You just want to lock it in until you get a steady speed. So we've tacked in our motor speed at 1617 RPM. We may well want to know the fan speed as well. That's important to keep in mind, a little basic concept. The smaller the diameter, the faster the speed. So we go to a larger diameter shiv, I know it's going to be running slower. Now if I guess this, I'm going to say that this is three times the diameter of this one. So my speed should be one-third the speed of this one. Now we're running at about 1617 here, so that puts me at somewhere around 550 or so. So we're going to start out at about 550 and see how close we are to the running speed on our fan. So I'm going to cut it down to about 550. That's going to be my starting place. And I'm going to be looking to the keyway so that's my easiest reference on this shaft. And what I want to do is freeze the image of that key rotating so it looks as though it's not running. Sometimes it's a little bit of a challenge. The slower the shaft, it's a little bit hard to lock it in. But if you're careful and you take your time. So I was off a little bit on my calculation. It's actually 667 RPM. So remember, in a lot of cases, it's very important to know an accurate running speed of a machine. So if you don't have a tachometer or an encoder or some way to accurately know what the running speed of a shaft is, a strobe light is a great and fairly inexpensive way to get a good, accurate running speed of a shaft.